What's going on guys, TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved, playing Extinction Eternal. So check it out guys, we're actually out and about doing some things. I've been kind of hunting out for other things that we can start with our new breeding program. I'm going to go back and show you in just a second the stuff we are breeding up, but we knocked out a Rex. I figure we might as well go ahead and get this guy. Uh, we're still using our Tyrandon to knock everything out. In the last episode we did get a unknown lightning uh, poison wyvern, and they're pretty amazing, but the fact that it doesn't drain food... This guy is still going to be our main knockout artist. So let's get some food on this guy. And of course I didn't bring the good, good stuff. But I've got this. It's the, it's the second best stuff. Uh, so it'll tame him up pretty quick. He's a 600. Perfect tame, hopefully. Shouldn't drop any effectiveness. Should come out to 899. And then we just got to find one more of these. And then I'm going to start breeding these guys. And then we will eventually find one that we're going to level up. Yeah. I, I've never actually played with the different Rexes in here. So I'm kind of excited to look for a few of these different Rexes, and then we're going to kind of see what we can get into from there. So let's get that guy. All right. Oh, man, we almost forgot the meat again. We do that every time. All right, so let me do this. I'm going to go back and show you base real quick, and then we're going to come back out here and look around. What I was looking for is there was a Carquinos right over here, uh, according to the scanner, that's like level 600. Uh, now, I don't know if it's actually out here, but we're going to look. Hold on. What level is this? Prime Giga. We're looking for pretty much any of the primes that we can turn into infernals eventually. That's what we're kind of looking for. And there is definitely somewhere here, or Carquinos, that we can do that to. Oh, which which kind is that? Hold on. Oh, a Spectral Wyvern. I could get the second one. Now, we have one. I don't know. Do we need a second one? Uh, looks like yes. <laughs> looks like yes, we need a second one because he's coming to eat us. He's only got three million. Hmm. I don't know. Let me... No, you know what? We're just going to take this guy out because I don't... Actually, we'll leave him because if I decide to come back... Oh, I don't know. You know what? Fine. We'll tame him. We'll tame him. Check this out. We're going to go right here. Let him follow us. He should knock out here in just a second. Oh, we are taking some damage. got to be careful. Okay. Make sure we heal back up. There we go. Did we hit both of them? There we go. One down. One down. Let's get rid of this guy. Come on, dude. Dang. Okay. Come on. Oh, heal up. Heal up. Okay, don't accidentally hit the Spectral Wyvern. There you go. He should go down right now. We're not going to tame this guy. Whoa, he's a 580, though. No, no, no. We've got enough Prime Wyverns. I really don't need another one. Okay, let's go tame this guy real quick. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, check this out. We need that. We actually haven't been finding these lately, so that's really cool. Give us a little bit of free XP for our Tyranodon here. We'll take it for sure. In fact, since we got some free XP, we should probably go eat this Prime Wyvern. We'll do that in just a second. Let's get your food filled back up. All right. I'll go ahead and do this. Oh, come on. And we'll get you tamed up really quick. That way we'll have two of them. We didn't really need it, need it, but it's not too bad of a thing. All right. Heal you up real quick. All right. Okay, that's going to take forever. What about the spin attack? There you go. Spin attack's not too bad. There we go. Let's see if we can just stay right here inside of him. There you go. 270, 150. Two more hits. There you go. Give me the XP, man. Yeah, there we go. Some free XP for the Tyranodon. Right, this guy's almost tamed up. Lost a little bit of level, but 520 is still not too bad. All right. Come on, take the last bite so I can get out of here, man. I want to go back and show, show everybody the actual what we've been doing at the base. we got a lot of base work done. I'm actually really excited about what we did for our breeding area and the amount of uh, just different mutations we got on our thylacoleos and a couple other things. I also finally got a couple new thylacoleos. We got the poison, fire, lightning, and alpha over the last few days. Finally high level, so I'm really excited about that. All right, you give me the 779 is not too bad. All right, let's go like so. Hold on, let's do that, and then we'll grab the meat. Okay, now that we got super sidetracked, now let's go ahead and go back. Let's go like this, and we'll take you to the large dino pen, right? TBFG large dinos. All right, oh, we got 15 levels out of that. Look at that. Oh, wait, should I probably shouldn't be leveling up while we're teleporting. No, my luck it's going to break everything oh maybe it did uh oh oh no is it server restart time now there is a arc update coming so maybe that's maybe that's what's going on hmm i'm thinking so man 
uh, and I just saw someone else left the arc. That might be what's going on. Uh, or either that or we broke the game. I don't know. All right, give me just a few minutes to figure out what's up. All right, guys, we were disconnected real quick because we actually had a update for ARK, so that was the thing, and it <laughs> it always seems to happen when I hit record. I don't really know why. So let me kind of show you around. You guys have already seen what we were doing with all the Pteranodons. We got some really cool colors inside of here. I won't waste your time with this. Basically, we went crazy on the Pteranodon breeding. This is just like a third of the total ones that we have. We've got probably 40 Infernals alone. You can see the, the last set that we did inside there, which was actually quite a while ago, and I just haven't gone back to actually get rid of them. Let's get rid of those levels. And then inside here, we did have the Griffins, other than the two top Infernals. I've moved all them downstairs. I'll show you where they're at in just a second. Uh, inside here, we've got our Thylas. I've got one of each one of the Fire, Poison, Lightning. And this is the first time I've ever had the Alphas before. Both, re well, one's a really good level. One's an 810. Kind of the same with all these. Uh, we got all of them. Uh, there's three, uh, one of each is really high, and then the second one is not so high. So we'll have to breed them out and actually get them a little bit higher. Now on the second floor, which is our, our working class dino one, or our mid-sized dinos, now you guys know that we were doing breeding and stuff over on this side. On this side, we went ahead and picked all the dinos up and went ahead and put in our thyla cage over here because uh, we've been breeding thylas like crazy. So I can kind of show you. Look at the infernal thylas. They came out really crazy colors. I think I showed you this in the last episode. These are my favorites of all of them. We've got you know six on top, six on bottom. Those are the, the, the best ones of the group. And then we got five and five of the primes. The primes came out amazing. This blue one, absolutely my favorite. Superman blue, super amazing. And then this one right here, a lot of blue in it. And then, of course, I really like the like the all-white like snow color. It's like a winter thyla. I think that's really cool. So that's what we got going on on this level. And then as we go down, let's go down to where we're doing our large breeding. Nope, next one. Uh, this is where we're going to do the breeding of the Rex here in just a few minutes. And we're going to go out. There's one more on the map that's a level 600. Hopefully no one eats it in the next few minutes so we can get there. So this is the level where we're going to put all the wyverns and stuff. And I've added a couple cages for the griffins. So check these guys out. They're up there and doing their thing. So you can go on both sides of the little griffin kennel, griff, griffin cage, griffin house, whatever you want to call this. Got all the griffins there. Our elemental wyverns. Our Spectral Wyvern, which didn't we just get another one of those? We did. Let's go ahead and put this Spectral Wyvern right here next to the other one. Bam! Look at that. Spectral Wyverns. I think we have Ghost Wyverns in one of our things as well. We'll have to find that here pretty soon. But there you go. We got two of those guys. Are they male, female? Female. Female. But that's okay. We can use one of the potions from the Eternal Mod. I've only got one Alpha. I haven't seen these guys on the map very much. Hopefully I can find another one of those. And then our Prime Collection. These are the Primes that we got through all the breeding. We've got white, red, all the different wingtips, some green wingtips over here. Uh, the, like, fire wyvern looking guy. The, almost like a poison wyvern, kind of the greenish. And then the all white. These are all primes, all primes. And then this guy right here is the one that we evolved. And we're going to do some more evolutions of wyverns. That'll definitely be a thing. We got so many different evolutions that we can do. This, this could go on for a long time doing all that. So let's go back up. Uh, actually, you know what? Here, well, let's do this. We have to go to the bad place. Let's go there. And then as soon as we land over there, we'll get our bird over there. I probably should have got my bird first. Please don't attack me anything. Oh, good. There's bad things right in front of us. All right, let's get our buddy Hal. All right, so we need to go out to 1143 is the grid that we're looking for here. All right, so I'm thinking that's way back through here. Oh, it definitely is. So 11. Oh, actually, hold on. 11 is right there. 43 is this way. Okay. Okay. It's going to be... I think we're going the right direction. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're cruising. We're going the right way. So somewhere over here. 1143. What kind of guy is that? That's just a corrupted wyvern. We do need to tame a corrupted wyvern just to add it to the collection. All right. 13. There's 49, 48. Almost there. 47, 46. And then we'll turn left once we get to 43. All right, 43, and turn left. Oh, what's chasing us now? Always something. A 560. What's up, man? Here we go. Take these guys out. Yep, I know. Hopefully this Prime Rex is still here. You always got to kind of hurry to tame things on the server because there's no telling if someone else is out there eating all the things. So you got to make sure you get out there quickly. There we go. There we go. Oh, man, let's get healed up. Oh, good, he's done. Take that. Okay, I'm not going down there. That's not happening. All right, 
So we're at 19. Is it really 11? Man, this is way down here. What is that? <gasps> Corrupted Rock Drake. I want that. Nope, focus. We want, We pretty much want to tame everything, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing. All right. Is he really this? Do I have the wrong grid? Hold on. I need to double check my grid here. Yeah, it says 11:43. Wow. I feel like we're. Oh no, we're, we're no, we're turned around. Okay, I was, I was right. We were going the right way. Okay, we're we're, we're bad with directions. We we should definitely delete that, but we won't. We'll leave it in. You guys can definitely see how bad we are. All right. So just a little ways up this little path right here. Avoid the really 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 bad things. We're definitely not going down there into all that madness. All right, please still be here. Ridiculously giant Rex. Here we go. Yes, level 600. Come be my friend, dude. Nice, and is he hitting me? No, we're good, man. We're not even gonna get hit right now. This is perfect. Uh, not the not the view, because we can't see anything, but that's fine. Let's do right here. Are we safe? There we go. 6.9 million torpor. This won't take too long. This bird's amazing, man. Makes this absolutely amazing to do. Uh, you still gotta be a little careful. If he turns and hits you, you can do a little bit of damage. He's not too bad, though. Our, our bird is pretty sturdy. We should be good to go. Here we go. So we'll have a pair of breedable, uh, perfect tame prime rexes that we can go ahead and start uh, the collection. And then I think we're gonna go around and start collecting some more of the rexes. I think this will be the rex episode. We haven't really done a lot with rexes this season. And you know what? Honestly, it's one of those tames that I, I, I tend to skip over. I don't know why. It, obviously, in vanilla game, they're like the go-to. And I think maybe because since they're your main go-to in vanilla, I just never really in modded really messed with them too much. So we'll have to do that today. All right, and eventually we will go get an Indom. You can see an Indom down there on the right. We'll definitely be doing that eventually. All right, 5.2. Uh-oh. The Torpor is doing its little pause thing. Hopefully there's no problems with the server. Please, no problems. We got to get this guy knocked out. Okay, there he goes, there he goes, there goes the Torpor. I don't know why it does that. So weird, server problems. There we go, and one more, he should go out. There we go. Go to sleep, now you can be our friend. All right, as long as nothing comes and messes this up, we got this. Bam, take that. And this is a female, this is a male. Look at that, we're in business, man. Male, female, good to go. What's up, man? We're gonna be good friends. We'll get us some primes breeding. We'll start breeding like crazy. And we'll actually, you know what? Today would be a good time to go ahead and show you how we've been doing the breeding with a bunch of the potions. I know that the uh, uh, we can get a really big head start by using a bunch of the different potions that are in the Eternal Mod. And I'll show you those. They're, they're actually amazing for doing that. So uh, why, are, why are you pausing, man? Keep eating, dude. Keep eating. You're just like asking for trouble here. Make sure you... Oh, yeah, it looks like he's awake. <laughs> and that's how you get eaten, TBF. All right. There you go. 86. Come on. All right. He lost a little bit, but he's still 899. Perfect. What is up, man? Our future best friends. All right. Let's do this. Bam. All right. Let's go make some baby Rexes, man. I'm so excited about this. I'm so, I'm really... I actually really am excited because we don't get a chance to do many of the Rexes. So here's... Here's what I'm going to do now. There is a few more Rexes around the map that I want to go ahead and grab. We, ha we have one Alpha Corrupted. Uh, there is another one that we can go after. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the Rexes on the map are not looking too good. Robot Rex is looking really low. Uh, Spectral Rex is not too bad. 560. Uh, there's an Alpha Corrupted level 600 that's at 4785. I think that, that could be the thing we go for. All right, so 4785. Let me see if there's a teleporter in that direction. Uh, we'll go over there. We'll try to grab this Alpha Corrupted Rex, and then I'll meet you guys back at base. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick detour and knock out this guy real quick. You guys know I have a soft spot in my heart for the gorillas. We actually did, on the Ebonus Astra map, we tamed up a bunch of these and bred up even more. Uh, they're just kind of cool. I don't know. I've always had a soft spot for them. And we bred up a ridiculous amount, took on one of the bosses, and lost all of them. So, uh, rip. Uh, let's see. Let's get some food on you real quick. This is not a planned thing. We just happen to see this guy chilling down there. He's only 480, but like I said, we don't have a gorilla yet. I'll take it. All right. Oh, wow. We can see through him. That's not weird at all. All right. Come be my friend. Oh, do we... I would say, where's, where's the meat? There we go. Give us the meats back. Okay. Run, run, run. This is a bad area. You got to be a little bit careful. 
All right, so we are going, like I said, to 47.85. Almost there. Right out here in the wasteland area. Oh, we could have teleported to Goat's base. Goat actually built a really cool base inside of there. All right, here we go. Right in here. Red 85. Up on top of here, maybe? Right next to Goat's base. Oh, what level is that guy? Dang, 180. We need an upgrade with the Thylas, so we're kind of on the lookout for those guys. Uh, there is a Corrupted Giga. Hmm. Somewhere in this area. This is this is the right general area. What is this? Oh, look at the look at the Indom. What level are you, Indom? Uh, only 380. Oh, a robot trike. No, focus, focus, focus. This is usually the issue. <laughs> Shiny things. This is. I think this is every every arc player's worst thing is when you're actually going out to tame a very specific thing, and you start running into all of the other things. All right. We're definitely in the right area. Is it you? It's not you. Hmm. Oh, there's Goat's base, by the way. This is Goat's awesome base. Really cool spot. Okay. Still nothing. 47. We're like right at 47, right? No, right above. 47. And then 85 would be more that way. Yep, he might be gone already. That does happen a lot where you get out here and they're gone. Or there's the problem of they, they've actually gone into the map. That's happened a few times. Let's land. Let's look right here. All right, let me kind of scout out for a little bit, see if we can get lucky. If not, we'll go back to the base and actually look up the next grid because I only wrote down the first grid. We should have written down multiple. All right, so with the first Eternal Alpha Corrupted Rex that we got, plus the one that we just got, uh, which is a perfect team. So we've got two of these guys. This guy was not. I don't remember what level he was. In fact, I guess we could look at that. What level were you starting off? Might have been really close. This was... Oh, you know what? Actually, you know what the easiest way to do this? We've kind of realized that inside the soul balls, it kind of tells you everything. Like the, the spyglass tells you some things. But inside this one tells you way more. So let's see. The 936 was tamed out at 869. So that's really good. The one that we just got was tamed out at 899. 99.9% .9 effectiveness. Awesome. Uh, trapped by, uh, tamed by the adventurers, but tamed by me. And then let's see. Oh, we got a crab too. We're actually going to attempt to do crab babies. So that would be kind of awesome. Here we go. Just a, another level 420. So not like a real high level 629. This one's very similar in level. Uh, so they're not going to be like great levels, but I've just never seen baby crabs. So I wanted to do that. And then let's get these Rexes out. Here we go. Prime Rex number one. Here we go. Prime Rex one. Bam. Prime Rex two. Bam. And then the Indominus Gorilla we're going to set over here. Like so. All right, make sure you guys are all on passive. All right, what's up, Gorilla Guy? How you doing, man? This is a reskin, too. You can tell he's got a big change in him now. He doesn't look quite the same as he did before. The internal Edom... Internal Edom... Man, I can't say words. Words are hard, guys. Eternal Indominus Gorilla. We were trying to put those two words together. All right, so let's get these guys here. All right. So not too bad with those levels there. There we go. And I think we need to change the gender of one of these. This is a female. This is a female. So there's this potion inside here that's called the... Here we go. Let's see. I've made tons of everything. Um, oh, maybe we did. Here we go. So we use one of these potions. And now, bam, this one is an actual male. So there we go. We got male, female of those two. And then these are already male, female. So we're good there. Now we need to go ahead and do a little bit of our... This right here get us some mutations going so this is the s plus mutator if you guys haven't used this before it just allows you to uh it basically sends out this little pulse i think we've showed you this in video before but just in case in case this is your first time checking this out uh you do the mutator a couple times and then bam these guys got two mutations on them so kind of cool now when they're mutated they cannot move so like our guy that's got a saddle over here you try to jump on him he can't move until that actual countdown is done and it's 200 and some some odd seconds uh, so it does last just a little while oh, we need our that and then like this we'll do a third one we'll do one more and then I'll go ahead and get these guys started on their breeding all, all these different sets so let's go with this one 
Uh, we did go out and look for a couple more Rexes. The Lightning, Poison, and Fire Rexes on the map right now are super low level. So I'm going to wait until we can find better ones of that. But we'll, we'll find them eventually. All right, let's go like this. Behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. Now there is a potion that speeds along how, uh, like them actually doing their thing. That I don't know if that's one of the ones we made up. I don't think it is. That's for to turn back into a baby. Let's go ahead and breed these two. Breed, mating, and behavior, animal mating. There we go. Everyone's making babies. Let's go ahead and get the Carcanos going. All right, animal mating, and hopefully these guys don't have to be in water. I don't think they do. All right, are we, are we doing the baby thing? Are you guys close enough? All right, well, let's just give them a second. I don't know for sure if they're going to do it or not. These guys doing their thing. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple more pulses. All right. You know what we can do? Here's a kind of a quick way to do this. If you use the transfer gun, if you just have the one stack like we have, you could sp spend all the time to actually, you know, pull the, or put 10 on each one of these, but it just takes a long time. There we go. Two more going. That way we'll have as many mutations as possible right away. Are you guys doing your thing yet? There we go. Now they're mating, so we'll get a baby uh, crab out of all this. And it's going kind of quick, 42%. Very nice. So let's kind of wait on that. I don't know if these are eggs or if they are gestation. Uh, now, usually Rexes are eggs, but because of the Eternal mod, some of them are set up as gestation that you wouldn't normally think, especially like Infernals. Almost all the Infernals so far have been uh, gestation instead of the other one. Uh, we've got lots of creatures in here that we need to get rid of. I've actually killed off over 100 Thylas. We're going to do that in a minute. So let me kind of wait on these guys just for a minute, and then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so check it out. This one was actually an egg. So we've got one egg down here. Look at that. Kind of a giant Prime Rex egg. So let's go ahead and use this to pick it up. Now, it picks it up on its own, but usually if you deactivate and reactivate, it tends to pick it up a little bit faster. Now, these guys are gestation. So these guys, we can actually go ahead and speed this up. We've got what's called a, no, 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 the gestation potion. Go ahead and throw that over. Hit that. And bam, having a baby. Uh, whoa. Even the baby has the spawn in animation. How cool is that? All right, we're going to leave that there for just a second. Hopefully, the soul balls will pick them up in just a second. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the crab. All right. Let's go gestation potion, like so. All right. Did it finish? There we go. And that one got picked up right away. So we'll see the baby in just a minute. Did you get picked up too? No, you're still kind of wandering around. Eventually, he'll wander over there and get picked up by the soul balls. Now, so they've all finished breeding, but we've got this mutation still going. So what we can do is we're going to wait for this to go ahead and run down. Let's go ahead and grab our stack of element. And this is kind of how we go quickly along the process to get us a little further in. And then we basically just kind of wait and do a little bit of breeding each time we log in. And we don't really use the potions later on because then we have plenty of them going at once. Uh, but now that they've already mated, you got to wait four hours on our server. Some servers are a lot longer. Ours is set to four hours or so for each one of the dinos. And now you can do the breeding potion. You take the breeding potion, throw that on that guy, and bam, we're mating again. We're doing our thing yet again. So this is how we kind of just uh, explode our ranks, and then we can actually start breeding, mass breeding really quickly and start getting some really cool mutations. Uh, let's see, breeding like so. Mating again. And let's do the same thing with the crab. All right, breeding like so. There we go. So we'll have two sets of each one of these. Now I hope with the next set that we're going to get some really decent uh, babies right away, but you just never know. The prime Carcanos came out to 623. The Alpha Corrupted came 932. That is, wow. Why did you go so 932? I must have got some crazy mutations. I didn't see if they had color mutations. Let's look for colors. Uh, that one did get a... So the crab got a color mutation. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but it does have one. Uh, so did the rex. Okay, cool. Like I said, I don't know if we'll be able to see it based on how the creature looks. But all right, so let me wait this out for a little bit. And then uh, that's what it's called. It's called a mating potion. I definitely didn't make it. No, we didn't make it. But there is a mating potion that pushes the mating along faster, but it's not too slow. So we'll kind of wait on it. So give me just a little bit to wait for them to make uh, a full second, maybe even a third set. And then we'll go ahead and hatch all the babies at once. And then we will take the Rexes out and actually do a little bit of leveling and eating of things too today. Can't go without that. All right, so we're, we got them going for a third round. But while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and go get these eggs hatched up. 
Let's run up here real quick. Oh, no, hold on. I do want to make sure. Okay, I had to double check. We always got to make sure that we're actually recording because we, we're down to one screen now with this move going on. So we got to double check that we're good to go. We used to have the second screen right here. We won't have that until we're done with the move. All right, so let's go ahead and drop our two Rex eggs up here. Drop and drop. Go ahead and hatch those. Bam, bam. There we go. And then we jump inside here and grab the... Oh, we got... Did we get triplets? We certainly did. We got triplets, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. There we go. Tri triplet Rexes. That gets us started quickly. Whoa. Oh, that was unique. That's never happened. All right, let's go back down. Oh, wrong elevator. I need to put signs up that are like dummy proof. I I'll still mess it up, but it at least then we'll think it's dummy proof. All right, so we've got the Rex babies. Let's go ahead and get these babies here. There we go. All right, let's get this going. So let's see the babies. So we got baby Prime Rexes. All right, there's one. Oh, we got a different color already. Or is that just how they look as babies? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, they're definitely different. Definitely different. All right, the crab. All right, uh, corrupt Alpha Rex. Oh, look at that. Even when you throw him in, he still spawns in like that. That is cool. All right, uh, what's this one? Sorry, we were looking at the animation, not paying attention. Uh, and another crab right there. And now we have Alpha Corrupted again. That's so cool, man. That one, So that one's A69. That one got the 932. That's crazy. All right. Get all these thrown in. Okay, cool. And we did get twins of the Alpha Rexes as well. And there's another egg for the Primes. Nice. There we go. Pick that up. Oh, yeah, they did. They definitely did. Look at that. So he's got like a reddish and he's a 919. These ones are 923. And that's usually where you get your mutations is usually in your levels. Like you get higher level, higher melee, higher uh, speed or these different ones. And then as they imprint, because we're going to leave them here imprinting, we've got our nanny right here. And she's going to imprint on these guys and they'll be even higher level. So kind of cool. And there you go. Some really, really good levels here. Let's wait on these last couple sets of babies here. And then we won't do any more babies for right now. Let's go gestation. There we go. All right, cool. Born. Oh, that sounded like it might have been more than one. That will be cool. All right, like this. And gestation. Bam. There we go. Very, very awesome. There we go. And it eventually drops out the baby. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so cool. What level did you come out at? 933. Awesome. Now, we could claim it. The reason that I don't claim it uh, we usually just let it walk around until it gets picked up by the soul balls is because when it does that then when you come over here and you look inside of here I, I get a chance to see exactly what they can oh do we get it oh we got triplets oh I don't like the level on that level uh, triple six on these ones okay there we go eventually that Rex will walk close enough to actually get picked up but it also takes wander off so you don't have to sit there and do claim and then just there it goes it got picked up you don't have to do claim disable wander and then, you know, do the other stuff with him. You don't have to move him around. This way, you can actually use a soul ball to put him exactly where you want him. So, I, I don't know. I just think that's uh, really, really helpful. There we go. Let's throw another crab down over here. Let's see what our triplets look like. There we go. Very, very cool. Look at those guys. All right. So, they'll grow up. Eventually, we'll start seeing some really cool mutations on them, hopefully. And then, oh, we got one more. We got more Alpha Corrupted Rex. And then what I'll do for this second round, I'll basically, I'll put the adults away and I'll start using the babies to actually come up, uh, depending on how many uh, mutations. So only one on that guy. And it just depends. Sometimes you get one. It's supposed to stack. Now, typically it stacks with all these, but it's just not doing it right now. So, all right, uh, let's let them do their thing. Let's go ahead and turn these guys off of mating for right now. All right, like so. Make sure none of them are mating, and then I'm just going to wait it out. Let me see if I can get a couple sets of these going. We'll start getting into the second and third generation, and then we'll take out one of these guys and level them up a little bit. Uh, now, here's the reason also before we break camera real quick. Uh, one of the big reasons why we did this, because guess what? That guy is going to become an Infernal, and this guy is going to become an Infernal, and that is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to do that. All right, uh, so here we go. Oh, also, there is a potion to grow these guys up. It's called the grow up potion i made seven of them uh the only problem with that is when you do it i don't think we'll test it on just this one guy he's growing really fast though but we're going to test it anyway just so we can see uh let's see grow 
So when you hit it, all right, so bam, he's full full size. Uh, you don't get the full imprinting, I believe. Yeah, see, 10% imprinting. Now, there is something called dino steroids that you can use that can actually bump that up quite a bit, but we won't mess with that. Uh, but there you go. And then we can go ahead and soul ball him up until we get ready to do our second round. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take him out. The babies are going to take a little bit longer than I thought to actually get bred up, so it's going to take just a little while. So we're going to go ahead and take out one of the Rexes and kind of play with him just to see if we can get him leveled up a little bit and then eventually turn him into an Infernal, and then we'll start breeding Infernals as well. And now the crabs, they breed super fast. Not breed fast, but they grow up super fast. I didn't use grow up potions on any of these, and this is only maybe 10, 15 minutes later, and now I have all of them breeding yet again. So by the time we come back, we'll have a couple brand new Carcanos ready to go inside of here, so it'll be awesome. Let's go... I think we're going to take this guy. So let's go like this. Alright. We're going to Dino Ball him. The only reason why we're doing that is that way, uh, when we pick him up, it actually gets rid of that thing where he's stuck because of the mutator. So that's the thing there. So let's go like this. Alright. Throw him down. We went ahead and made a saddle that we upgraded just a little bit. Alright. Let's go ahead and get the saddle on our new buddy here. All right, let's go test this guy out. So I'm thinking desert is the best place to start. That's usually like our method now is to go. Uh, actually, you know what? You know where we haven't been in a while is the obelisks underneath. Let's do that. Let's go to the obelisks underneath and actually clear it out a little bit. I bet there's a bunch of junk underneath there. All right, let's see. Please don't fall through or anything. Otto did lose a really good dino by falling through the floor. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got all kinds of things to eat. Let's do it. This will give us some good starting levels. So 30,000 starting off. We'll take it, man. What is biting? Oh, we got aloes. Come here, aloes. Hold on. All right, come on. Come on, back into him. Do something. There we go. There we go. All the things. All right, are we good? We'll pump some levels in just a minute. Let me get through all these guys. There we go. Go ahead. Come at me, guys. There we go. All right, are we good for just a second? We should probably turn off harvesting so we're not stalling out the server. 25 levels, see, perfect. That is a perfect start. Let's go all damage to start off with so we can get this guy into an absolute monster. All right, there we go, 92,000. Yep, That'll, that's where we wanna be. All right, so let's eat these guys and then I'll turn harvesting off. All right, hopefully nothing attacks me real quick. Let's go harvesting, resource harvesting off. There we go. Oh, there comes everything. As soon as I get off the wrecks, they were coming. Look at that. <laughs> nice, very nice. Eat all the things. Oh, no. How did they hit me? Oh, a Perlovia, I bet. Did a Perlovia jump all the way up here? No way. There we go. I don't know what that was. That was crazy. There we go. Eat all these guys. All right. That at least gives us a good start. Let's... I think we got enough levels to go ahead and go to the bad place. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's eat these guys real quick. Oh, he got all the way up. Allo jumped. There we go. Very cool. All right, man, let's let's go. We're going to the bad place. Uh, this is a bad idea, but that's kind of the fun of it. Now, if you guys watched the last episode, we did lose our wyvern out here. We got a little cocky, and we ran into a, uh, what do they call Not a fallen. Uh, one of the new special bosses. So we got absolutely wrecked. Let's go like this. So we need some levels into health. There we go, 10 million. That way we're at least a little bit survivable. All right, let's, let's go this way. I usually go to the right. Let's go left this time. Go over here and see what we can eat. Hopefully they're still, there was a bunch of brood mothers out here. I'm hoping they're still out here. Oh, what's up, man? We're actually breeding up a bunch of your buddies back there at the base. There we go. What kind of health does this guy have? Not too bad. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just a bone guy. It just looked really weird where it was at. There we go. Oh, you know what we haven't done? Hold on. We made mistakes here. I need to put a dino tracker on our buddy here. Like so. All right, come on. There you go, dino tracker. And then, let's go. 
Come on. Get this guy to come to us. He's got a lot of health, doesn't he? Yeah, we're a little out of our element here. Okay, watch our watch our torpor. There we go. Levels. Give us all the levels. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That should pump us up a lot. So, torpor, we're good. Nice. 42 levels. You know where it's going. Melee. Let me click the mouse as fast as I can. There we go. Yeah, 67 levels. Once you get over 100 levels, you're going to really start seeing how much damage this guy can do. All right. Break through all the things. Come here, Indom. 195. That's not bad. Not bad. Not great. He's not, like, super amazing. Uh, but this guy is going to be an infernal eventually. All right. Let's get a little bit of heal action. All right. Like I said, there were definitely some broodmothers out here. See, they're still over here. All right. Oh, we got levels because that's what we need. Okay. Let's go do this. Oh, there we go. Prime Rex. A couple more levels. Yep, yep. I know. I know. You're super excited. So are we. Let's go eat these guys. Oh, that's easy. So there's 200k on that guy. 145 on that guy. Rock Drakes, maybe? I don't know what... Hopefully he's not a Prime. I don't want to... If I see a Prime Rock Drake, we'll probably stop what we're doing and tame him. There we go. Alright, keep going. Alright, look at the heal up action. Alright, really want to see some Broodmothers here. I know we saw some when we came through last time. There we go. And this guy does a little bit of knockback, which is nice. There we go. Alright guys, let me do a couple of circles like this. See if we can get a few more levels. And I'll uh, bring you back if anything stupid happens. Well over 100 levels now. We went out and ate all the things. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, hold on. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Eat him. Okay, get away from that jellyfish. The jellyfish is not good. There we go. Get away. All right, let's see what our damage is at now. Oh, there's another broodmother. Awesome. We've done two full circles through here. We've eaten like two or three broodmothers and quite a few of the bone guys. Here we go. 265 now. Like I said, not super amazing, but I think once we get to become an infernal, this will be absolutely really, really, really good. There we go. Come on. Yeah, I see our torpor going up just a little bit. Alright. Another broodmother coming. And this is how it happens right here. You start getting all the levels going. Alright. Eat this guy. Eat fast. Eat fast. Come on. 300. There we go. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of poison eraser just in case. And we'll check our levels in just a second. There we go. All right. Super amazing. 42 more levels. That's what I'm talking about. All right. See, it doesn't take too much. You eat a couple broodmothers, a couple of the bone guys, and you are good to go. All right. Let's put a little more into health. We're not real, real survivable. There we go. There we go. 300,000. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. Very, very cool. So I think we're going to head back here in a minute. I'm kind of running out of time for the day. What kind of bug is that? Trying to see the bug. Uh, no, we already got one of those. Okay. Eat this guy real quick. There we go. Super amazing. Let's go ahead and head back. Oh. Yeah, I hear you. Not worried about you. All right. Let's go back to the large dino pin. All right, guys. So there it is. There's the prime wreck. Super amazing. In the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn him. Ooh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're just right next to the green guys. I was like, what is going on? All right, yeah, so in the next episode, I'm going to turn this guy into an Infernal. I want to get some more levels on him, so I'll wait until Otto's on, and we'll actually go around and do a little bit of leveling with Otto and get him... Uh, there you go, tiny XP potions, not going to do much. Uh, but we'll get him all the way up to uh, whatever the max level he can get to, at least through health and melee. There we go. Let's go ahead and check on these guys. You guys all do your thing? You definitely did. So now if we look in here, we've got a couple new babies, and they've got two mutations. So now what I'll do is I'll 
put these guys away and then what level are you guys hold on let's see the levels first uh, 680 680 and 660 uh, all right so I'm gonna put all of these ones away and then we're not gonna ever see these guys again these guys are not retired uh, they've done their job they've made babies uh, oh, we had a couple of them that we didn't turn on to breeding my bad we should have had more that's okay all right so now I'll take the Carcanos. All right, and then we'll just throw them in here because they're now part of the old breeding stock. And then eventually I'll delete all these. We just don't get rid of them in case there's ever like an emergency or anything and something bad happens where we need more of them back out. All right, let's go ahead and see what these baby crabs look like. And then hopefully, like I said, we'll eventually see some different colors pop out. There we go. One, two, and three. Alright, and this is male, female, female. Perfect. They're going to be ready to breed up again. Alright, so the, and you can watch them. You can actually see them grow as we sit here. Look at that. Now, the bad thing is that means they're probably not imprinting fully. That's kind of a bummer, but other than that, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, the Rexes are growing up nicely, but it's going to take a little bit longer on those. Alright, cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved Extinction Eternal as we turn our Prime Rex into an Infernal Rex in the next episode. It's going to be awesome. Uh, this game will hopefully be up to level at least 1100, 1200, somewhere in there. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Check this out guys, I'm super excited. Look at the color of this Prime Rex that just came out. This one, if he pops out like he looked a second ago. Yeah, look at that. Kind of a lighter color, a little bit, of, a little bit of white in there. So this is what I'm hoping to do is kind of breed it into like, like we have with the thylacolios and do like, like kind of a snow version. So it's like the all white or all blue and kind of just uh, have like a little bit more solid colors. That guy came out red, kind of cool looking. But yeah, there we go. Starting to get some different colors in here. We'll have to kind of see what happens. Babies everywhere.